Hey guys, I know it's so random. I'm doing two videos in one week. I might even do one again. No, actually tomorrow I'm not. Okay, I don't know. This is such a fucked up week. Um, I didn't go in the office today because like I told you guys yesterday, uh, I was in the office and Judy was home and so now we switched and our Judy went to the office um, and I'm home. So I don't know, I don't know. It just, I kind of, we're kind of like playing it day by day um and doing the best we can to like follow the recommendations because i you know i don't know anyway i want to kind of i want to tell you guys how i feel about this and i don't this is the thing before i get started in it this is it i'm allowed to have an opinion i'm allowed to question things i'm allowed to wonder okay and so anyone out there who's like jumps down my throat is like you're being irresponsible you have no idea what it's like here uh, um, i was that's how my mindset was too at first until things turned well i'm not allowed to bring up points i'm not allowed to bring up things i'm thinking like let allow me to just think i'm not a sheep i never have been a sheep i'm not a conspiracy theorist at all like by any stretch of the imagination but at the same time like I also like can question things if things sound weird or fishy or if the th things don't add up like mathematically then I'm allowed to question it okay so I'm gonna get into it a little bit to you. I'm not anything like I you guys know I'm just a person okay anyway before I get into that um I don't know I'm kind of just like bored I'm I don't know I'm not like I just wait this thing I'm scared but I'm but I'm not scared like I don't know. So I'm, I'm following the rules, okay? And I'm not a rule follower, really. I'm not a rule breaker, but like, I'm not like a goody two shoes rule follower at the same time. Like, I, I better safe than sorry for my personal and other people's health. Yes. Um, the whole thing, okay, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, I don't know what I was getting with that, but I did go through um, and got, I got Starbucks this morning. I went and went drove and drove through the um, drive through. I want to like support small business as much as I can. I think like, and I'll get into that. And so when I was driving, when I was thinking about where to go for start for coffee, the thing is like, I don't really want to go inside an establishment. You know what I mean? Right now, like, I, even though I, I don't, I don't know where my head is, you guys. And I'm just being honest with you. Like, I'm just talking to you. Like we're friends sitting here, like having a discussion. Okay. So don't fucking jump down my throat. Don't say I'm being irresponsible. Don't like say I'm contradicting myself. Like don't say, oh, it's, you know, you have no idea what it's like, blah, blah, blah. Like, shut the fuck up. Okay. Like, I'm allowed to fucking sit here and have a, a, a conversation with you guys. Anyway. So I kind of feel bad going and getting Starbucks because I want to help small business. But anyway, I've been doing my part um, with small business. I for dinner and for thing and for food. I go and I I don't go to like the big chain markets. I've been going to not that it matters like toot your own horn. Like everyone should do whatever the fuck they want to do. I don't really like to like tell people what to do. I just like to, to tell you what I do. Um, I don't like to be told what to do. I just hate that. It's like it's another thing. Like I don't like to be told what to do, and I'm allowed to fucking have a fucking opinion of my own or think. Okay, so shut the fuck up. Um, but I'm telling you what I do. So I support like local. Um, grocery stores, like not big name grocery stores. We have one here. And um, like for dinner, we've been ordering from like local mom and pop, like restaurants and things like that. No, not like chain places or like drive throughs even though that's a good idea. Um, I'm just trying to support as much as I can right now. Like we should always do that. Like small business is the fucking like foundation of this country. It's, it's the American dream. It's everything. Like if it wasn't for that, I would not have HRH. I am so fucking like, grateful to be an American and to have to have a small business of my own because I know in other countries it's not that easy so I count my blessings for that every day and any person who has a small, a small business like I you know what I mean like I I pray for you I root for you kind of thing anyway what I was really at. okay before I get into the whole thing though about my opinions and my feelings on it and just like what I'm doing or like how I'm feeling um I want to like bring up something that really pissed me off a couple weeks ago and, I, and the reason I brought up Starbucks is I have it here. And I don't want people like, oh my God, you went into Starbucks. Like, you said you weren't going to go anywhere. You said you are going to support small business. Like, I can just see it. So, I'm going to shut up. I'm just addicted to this fucking cloud fucking macchiato thing, okay? So, I want to tell you guys something happened to me. I'm like really pissed about it. I'm kind of honest to God. I'm kind of sick of it, all right? So every time I go into Sephora, I'm okay, this thing, I'm not the kind of person to like ask for recommendations really, or to ask for help or to like, if we're at a restaurant, a pet peeve of mine and someone I'm really close to does this a lot and I hate it. We'll like ask the waiter for the recommendations. Oh, what do you, what do you suggest? Or like, what do you like, whatever, like what I, and every time he does that, I want to get up and leave. 
because I, I remember, first of all, the waiter is not going to have the same taste as me. Okay. Like I've actually, if the waiter tells me something, I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? It's like, you're not going to tell me what to do. Like you're never, no one in this world is going to tell me what to do. Like, unless, okay, with this, I will be told what to do a little bit. Okay. Anyway, shut up. I just, I have, I can just see people out there jumping down my throat. I just can't. Like I, I have to take a breather. I can take a break. So anyway, Whenever that, okay, I was gonna say is, I used to work at the Ritz Carlton, like when I was 18 or whatever, I got like a job, whatever, as a pool girl, like a fucking pool slave. And um, I, they, they, I would have like morning meetings or something from like, the, with like the manager. And the manager told the waiter, the waiters at the pool, I wasn't a waiter, I was like literally pool slave, like it was horrible. Um, I, they told them like, oh, we have a lot of these gumbo shrimp or whatever. So if you could want to suggest the gumbo shrimp, so, like if they asked, always suggest the gumbo shrimp. Ever since that fucking, those meetings, I know what, if, if a restaurant puts up specials or if like, or if they, or, or if they recommend something, it's probably because they have too much of it or it wasn't a popular, yeah, they have too much of it. For whatever reason, it's the thing they're going to push the most. Okay. With me, and then I was thinking about that the other day. Like, I heard something that happened, and something else happened. And I was thinking about that to myself. When people ask me, because I, I'm not the kind of I. When people ask me like what they what people recommend, I I can't do that. Like I could never, in good faith, if someone asked me like what color would you get for like for my line, I would never steer them to something I have a lot of ever. Like, and maybe that's a bad business thing on mine. I might have like extra of a color that I can't get rid of, or something extra of a certain chain I can't get rid of. But like, I'm not going to, I'm always going to steer someone towards the most popular thing. I always will do that. Anyway. So the, anyway, my thing was going back to this, going back to Sephora. Every fucking time I go into Sephora, I get, okay, this is the thing. I don't know. I, I will, it's not, it's not like, I'm not a makeup artist. So I assume the people in Sephora love makeup or they're makeup artists of some sort. Like I really assume that maybe I'm stupid. Like I, to, to be honest, I don't love the way I, I never like am in Sephora. I'm like, Oh my God. Like however she's doing her makeup. I love it. Like I don't run into like really like people who inspire me in Sephora. I just feel like people who work there, they play with makeup all day long. Like they should know. Right. But I swear to you every fucking time I go in there and ask a question about what they recommend, they fucking give me the worst damn advice ever. Like what the fuck is with that? Okay, so I've been looking for a primer forever because I told you guys like, you can see like right here. Yeah, you can see right there. I have like pores, like just like, I don't know. Like just, I have like some pores. It's not the worst. Like I'm, you know, it's not like terrible, but I do have some pores and I just don't like them. Like I don't want to wear, I don't, whatever. I don't want a ton of makeup. I want to just, I want them to just, just be like better. I'm not trying to like look perfect, okay? So anyway, I had this thing on the counter and the girl was a complete fucking bitch, to be honest. She was like a complete fucking bitch. Um, but she kind of, her attitude kind of lightened up after a second. Like we had a commonality, like we both saw a cute dog or something. And we're like, we smiled at the dog and then we came back to each other and like, she like eased up. It was weird. Like, I don't know. Cunt. Okay. So I asked her, oh, then at that point when I noticed that she, oh yeah, I, I don't want to get the whole story. Whatever. So I asked her, I was like, do, I was like, do you think this is a good option for a primer? And she's like, told me like, to be honest, the blur stick by milk so to be honest I hated it and it was so bad on my skin and uh, x y and z and I was like I just like the idea of it because it's like not aggressive looking and it's easy to apply I was like you know I was kind of like why the fuck did you ask her she just fucking bought it and I was like okay what do you recommend she's like, actually I recommend this and it's the Dr. Jart the uh Dr. Jart whatever prime priming moisturizer and I was like okay how much is that where is it she's like actually it's like free with the points right now. And I was like, Oh, okay. I'll take three of them. They're the hundred dollar, hundred point thing. So I got three of them. I came home. I've been using this. I fucking love it so much. I fucking love it. It's called the blur stick. And okay. Let me see if we can see. I don't know if you can tell, but I put it like, I just really like it. It really does blur my skin. I only use it like under my makeup, but I really like it. Love it. Anyway, I tried this twice now. This smells like weed. Like it smells like some kind of like, okay, I hate the smell of weed. I don't smoke weed. And I'm not saying you guys should, I don't give a fuck what anyone does. Like shut the fuck up. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean you're gonna fucking jump down my throat. I don't like weed. I don't like the weed culture. I don't know. I just think it like breeds laziness to be honest. I don't like it. Like great for you. If you like weed and you smoke every day and you're a multi-billionaire, 
amazing. I can't have my own fucking opinion. Okay, I just don't like it. So, and, and people like smoke weed now when I'm walking around. I like, ugh, like I just, I'm like dramatic about it. Like I don't want to smell that shit. Like do that in your own fucking like, do that in your own area. Like they have eliminated cigarettes from everywhere, which I actually, I actually like the smell of cigarettes. People like smoke cigarettes. I like the smell of cigarettes. I feel like I'm in Europe. I don't know. I just like it. Don't fucking smoke weed about me. Don't. Okay, I'll just go away. It stinks. It fucking smells like shit. So this stinks and fucking shit. Like I knew I should have never asked her. Like. I was like, damn it, of course, of course, I spent my 300 points on those pieces of crap. Doesn't even work. Like, can you return free things? Can you, those are 100, 100 points each. Like, I want something else. I don't like them. They actually suck. So annoyed by that. I swear to God, they had too many of them. That's not a good product. Like, I swear to God, they had too many of those. So maybe the manager in the morning was like, hey, guys, so no one's choosing these Dr. Jart bullshit priming moisturizer is the shit let's try and push those if any moron asks at the counter what to choose for their 100 points swear to god i swear to god that's it like, i'm not fucking joking <sighs> okay um blinking okay so i um let me just read over so the truth is you guys i have no brain anymore like I'm getting to the, like, I think I've become very overloaded in this past year or so with just everything. Like my, I need to start doing like brain exercises. Oh my God. By the way, do you love my new earring? I just made, I just did this one yesterday. This is different. So these are my gold bar earrings. I'm wearing the short ones. Um, this one is the same as my bankroll necklace earrings. And I, so it's like the same chain as the bankroll. I fucking love it. Um, and oh, just so fucking sick. I think it's amazing. They're not on my site. And I'm like, I'm not going to be like launching things for a while. I don't know. Just until like things like clear. But if you guys like these, what am I going to price these at? I think the set will be like around $60. And the um, hoop is a 14K gold fill. And then the chain is 18K gold plated. Um, but it's really, really beautiful. If you guys have this bankroll necklace, which a lot of you guys have, um, you should get the net, you should get the earrings too. Also, this is, I'm sure you know, one, two, three, four links. I can make them shorter or longer, whatever you want. And um, like, I won't try to do a customization fee, but I made these yesterday when I was at work and I put it on, I was like, oh my God, I fucking love these so much. They're so fucking sick. So if you want them, you can email me, but I like, I'm dead. I'm dead over all of my chain hoops right now. Like, all right, so now I'm gonna get onto the coronavirus situation and my just like, just general thoughts about it as like, as like a free woman, okay? like. Oh, I'm not allowed to say anything. Oh my God. Like I'm not, fuck that. Okay. The media is all over this shit, scaring everyone half to death. Like, and no one really knows anything. Okay. And I'm not allowed to sit here with my like 10 viewers, whatever. And like, say how, say what I feel. Like, obviously I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a regular person. I'm allowed to have a fucking opinion. Okay. It's 2020. So, um, what I was going to say is I legitimately think I might have it. Like, I'm not going to even joke about it. Like, this is my thing though. I'm, what's the word? Like psychosomatic, right? Like, is that like when you think, when you like, it's like, I can talk myself into getting sick sometimes. I've done it in the past. I don't know what it is. The brain's super powerful. And it's almost like this. Like if you read something on WebMD and then you're like, you're like, oh my God, I have it, right? Like, of course, like all the symptoms, like I have it. It's just one of those things. But to be honest, my lungs, I've had a sore throat for probably a week like waking up in the morning and it's like a slight, a slight, one of those sore throats that you have like in the, in the night and you wake up and once you take a shower and have coffee, it goes away. So I've had that for probably a week now. And my, I do have some chest congest congestion and like it's sore. Like I can feel like just, um, it's like it hurts inside a little bit. So I probably have a mild case of it, to be honest. Like if, if, if I like had to guess, I'm not going to go out there and get tested, like bog down the system. Like I, I'm just, what are you gonna do anyway? There's nothing you can do about it anyway. You're supposed to just like isolate yourself. Like, I don't know, I don't know if I have it, but I'm like, I just guess I'm just like, I don't know, I have something, whether it's like a cold or a flu, like I do have something very mild. I don't feel sick at all, like at all. I just feel congestion. And then it's cause like, I'm like the psychosomatic thing, like, oh my God, I must have coronavirus, right? I'm just gonna put it out there just because I don't want anyone like, say I do get it and something terrible happens. It'd be like, oh my God, I told you to. She should have like, she should have like never done this video. It's not the point. Like I, like, I think a lot, like a lot of people have a very mild case of it right now. Anyway, that, but then that's like contradicting myself because, okay, this is the thing for me and I get it. Like, I, it's, it's hard for me to like 
put into terms, sorry, put into words, because I have like no vocabulary, we know that. But it's like, it's 2020, okay? It's 2020, like we have, like what, 50 years ago we landed on the moon. The things that we have done in this day and age are ridiculous. Like we fly in the air, um, I don't even know, we cure diseases. Um, I, what are, I, mean, I can't even think about the things that we've done, like how easy our life is in comparison to like living in the fucking 14th century or whatever, okay? I just don't see this as being something that is going to take take any take a society down. Okay, I just don't see it as happening. It's like it doesn't seem rational to me. Also, the thing I always come back to is the mortality rate is ninety eight percent survival rate. Even if you, out of the people who get it, it's a ninety eight percent survival rate. Everyone's gonna get mad at me for saying that, right? Like everyone's gonna get so pissed. Like, oh my god. That's not true. You should see here in Italy. You should see here, whatever. Okay. It, I mean, I have I haven't seen any viral videos of like people like death, like death. What's it called? Piles of dead bodies. I mean, I, I just haven't seen any. There is not going around like that. The mortality rate is it's not it's like so tiny. People, I know it's not. I'm not gonna compare it to the to the flu. I'm not gonna compare it to compare it to the cold. But if you do, if the, if you look at the numbers, I understand it's a totally different thing. I get it. Like. It's a, it's a virus that we don't know about. Um, better safe than sorry. Um, I, I just want to, I'm just kind of like, I'm just saying what's coming up out of the top of my head. This whole, th I get it. We don't understand it. Okay, I get it. That's what it is. We don't really understand it. But to like shut down any, I'm like, my brain hurts from it. Shut down any, an entire world economy for this. I am just floored by it. Like, I cannot believe it. Like, is it really that, I mean, it must be that serious for our government to have shut down the entire like world, our entire country. And it's like day by day, more, more businesses are shutting down. This is like not only putting businesses out, like the, our, like the second quarter is gonna be complete and total shit. For, look at the stock market, it is ridiculous. Like I cannot believe it. It's like the, when I sit down, I think about the fact that Mm, like mm, it sounds fishy like something is weird like there's no way like there's gotta be more to this then I think about the fact that government is shutting everything down like it's got to be pretty serious but then I also come back to no there's no fucking way like we are we are in 2020 we have accomplished all these things in this world a virus they're gonna like come up with a cure like I don't know I, I, I don't know I think that if I was to like place my bets right now I would legitimately say that the government is being so overly cautious, like overly crazy cautious to, and everyone's gonna look back at this and be like, oh my God, really? Like we shut down the economy and we like, com we completely destroyed people's livelihoods. And for, for what, to be honest, because look at the, okay, look at them. Like I said, look at the mortality rate. It is like, it's literally nothing. It's nothing, look, people, I think I, I read something like 50,000, what is it, the, the people die more from like you, we have like, I think it's 50 or 500, 50 or 500,000 people die from the steering wheel every year. People die, well, look at the op opioid like epidemic problem. Like look at things that actually major huge fucking numbers and we don't look at those things. So then why are we not doing something about the steering wheel that killed 50 to five, I don't know, either 50,000 or 500,000 people a year. I forget what it is, something is astronomical, right? So, but now this, I don't know. It's just like, why, why this? Why, because it's so unknown? I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna told you guys, I'm legitimately just sitting here talking to you like I'm talking to you, okay? So don't get mad at me, don't get pissed, like don't say I, that's how I was two weeks ago and then you're gonna realize in two two weeks, like fine, well maybe I'll get there, but maybe not, like maybe this is all gonna be cleared up, like, I don't know. Then like the self-isolation thing, there, you know, I was reading also something about um, like, I don't know, something about when the plague happened, like King Henry VIII, um, like isolated himself in his bedroom, whatever, to listen, and like that worked, like, you know what I mean? But then I'm like, okay, so you're bringing us back to the, the time of King Henry VIII with the plague. Like that's what we, that's what's happened now, really. Like I, I just, it, the whole thing, there's something, I feel like there's gotta be something more to this. Like it is so fishy. But then I also come back to like, no, it maybe not because the government has shut us down not making any money, bankrupting us, like bankrupting us. I mean, 
I don't know, I sit here. Sorry, I got like a text from someone. Um, I don't know, you guys, I don't know. I Like I said, I just wanted to sit here with you and kind of like tell you how I felt and what I'm thinking. And I, I'm not an alarmist kind of person. I, you know what the funny thing is? I am a, I'm a very negative person, actually. I know it's like, it's just what people are. They're very positive and sunny or very negative. But with this, I'm like the opposite. I'm actually like, I think I'm a realist. It's like, show me the numbers. Show me videos of people in, in mass graves in Italy right now. I don't see it. Show me, show me it. Like, I know there's a lot of cases. I know there's a lot of cases, I get it. But there's, but are people actually dying who are not? I get it. And I'm not saying a life is more precious than the other. Either you're you're older or you have a pre-existing pre condition. There's something else. Like, there's something else that you're dying from. But it's like people die from the flu every year. People, there's so many things that I'm thinking, I'm thinking in my, or I'm like, that are going in my mind. I understand we have to be careful. We don't know what this virus is. It could like, it multiply it multiplies like well I understand that like the curve thing I get it like I you know what I mean I'm, I know um I just don't know I guess we'll have to see um what happens in the end like was it worth it to was it worth it was was the mortality wor rate in the end worth shutting down the world economy like was it like I I don't know I I don't know. This is going to this is going to this is going to be a long lasting effect on a lot of a lot of people. Like a lot of people are going to be hit hard with this. And I I I don't know. Like it's a really scary scary thing that's happening um in my opinion. And I think a lot of a lot of people's opinions too. But um yeah. I, there's a, a, a huge trickle down and everything even okay i'm gonna be very self-centered i'm gonna be very self-centered right now i understand this is hugely fucking self-centered okay but i'm gonna compare it to like people who can't go to like aa meetings right like people who this you can't like congregate i know that people without aa meetings are like going to be able to do things by phone and stuff like that but like people who can't go to aa meetings this might like you can like slip back into like your bad habits and this is where my bad habit thing comes in like I don't want to be quarantined in my house all day long. Like I will probably get bored and turn to food. Like I've been on such a good fucking roll. And I have like, I have my system down. I have like my schedule. Like I go, you know what I mean? I have like what I eat every day. Like I'm, I'm not falling back into bad, bad practices, bad, bad habits, but like sitting home for two weeks, like, dude, you, I've seen those fucking memes. Like the Barbie, when she was skinny and Barbie after quarantine, it's like, that. damn, that's going to be fucking me. I'm going to put on 20 pounds in like two weeks. Like, I mean, I'm not, but like, this two weeks, it can like be two weeks, two weeks for a small business, a bad, like two bad weeks for a small business can put them out of business, like a storefront. It can like legitimate or like a small restaurant can put them out of business. Like two weeks for like an addict can put them like back on a, ba a bad track. Like two weeks of like, this can put people into depression. Like people could, well, the like, suicide rate will probably go up, like from losing their job, like from losing their business, from you know, I don't know, addiction problems, like not being able to do your schedule. Like I can just see there's a lot of fallback from these this from what the government has decided to do. So I hope it's worth it in the end. Like I hope this was the right way to go. Um, I'm, I just, when I was driving like out to at Starbucks, um, the streets are not empty. Like, yeah, the freeway is like a lot more empty and like stuff, but there's people out. Like there's people out. I, I mean, I'm not like going out because I don't want to like I don't know. I don't have to. Like, it's like, thank God. Thank, thank, thank God. Like, knock on wood that I don't have to be out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to go to work. I'm very fortunate to be able to, like, not have to or to be able to, like, just, you know, switch days like I am with duty. So we're, like, being able to be cautious. But um, anyway, I want to, um, I want to show you guys my outfit too. I got the most fucking most badass outfit on ever. And I also want to take a photo for my Instagram. I've been wanting to take a photo of my Instagram of this fucking picture. I'm sorry, of this outfit for, like, two days now. So, <clears throat> see, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> like whatever, but I'm like, I'm so weird. Like I'm the most negative person, but I'm like not negative about this. Like I'm not, I'm sorry. Like I, I, I don't know. And then I was just like watching like the press, the press conference today too. And they were saying they were like ordering all these, like not, what is it called? Um, respiratory like equipment, like, t like tens of thousands of respiratory equipments they were ordering. I'm like, Hmm. Okay. So if you're ordering in all these extra respiratory equipments, are you, are you really anticipating 
tens of thousands of people to like be in a hospital like probably I guess the older people I mean what like would you be ordering millions in if you could would you be ordering hundreds of thousands like I don't think so I don't think so like we're too smart we are too like it's 2020 like I, like the the antidote or whatever like the the virus vaccination is going to come out like very soon it's going to be fine like I don't know. I cannot believe the fucking economy right now. I cannot believe everything's shut down. Like, I can't believe it came to this. I would have never guessed in a million years. Okay, before I show you with my bomb ass outfit, I want to, like, also remind you because I just feel like this is my, something I really care about, deeply care about because I am too, is small business. I really, really care about it. Like, it's one of the things I just, like, love about America that you can, if you are a very hard worker, if you have like a, you have like a special, like an idea, you can run with it. Like we're so fortunate here to be able to like, you know, start something if we really, really, really work hard and try, I don't know, whatever. Okay. A lot of people try, but like, if you have like that, that drive for it. Okay. So I really want to remind you guys that if there's like, um, you know, anyone, if there's a corner grocery store, if there's a corner restaurant, if there's like a small mom and pop business, um, a, like, I don't even know, like a groomer, I'm thinking about like my groomer who I go to, I don't know, like, how can I support them? You know, I, I like drop me off and bring it. I don't know. I don't know how like, we can do it, but like, you know, any way you can, like, I know hair salons, you know, nail salons, things like that. Like these people are small businesses. These are like the, the backbone of our country, the people that we depend on, they depend on us. Um, any like, you know, I'm not going to like throw self it. Yeah, I, I, whatever you guys, I'm very, 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 very appreciative for you supporting my line, but I don't want to like, throw myself in there. But of course I will. It's my channel. Like we all, we all, all, um, depend on you and we appreciate you very, very much, especially during this time. You know, like, I feel like a lot of the big companies, they, they're, they will survive it, but it's like the little companies here in the United States that we, all, a lot of us, especially like storefronts and things like that, mom and pop kind of stuff really need your help right now. Um, I'm just gonna say it, just because I, I will, I'm just gonna say it. My, like for example, my parents have owned like a travel agency for like, my mom's done travel agency, travel, has done travel for about 40 years. And my mom does travel, uh, corporate travel um, for like anyone who travels corporate, whether it's like a big, huge company or like a tiny company, she does corporate travel. And she's down to like zero. Like it is really, really bad for them right now. And um, so that's why I'm just saying like everyone, if you can support who you love, like which companies you love right now, it's this is the time. Because we don't want to see them like suffer and we don't want to see them disappear. Um, you know, like here in LA, there's already so many open like stores, like they can't pay the rent and they close down so quickly. It's like near my house, like everything, a lot of things have been open for so long, like no one can afford the rent. So it's just really sad to see, like there was this yogurt shop and they closed up real quick and like that breaks my fucking heart, breaks my heart. Like I can't see that. It's like, it just, it really stabs me in the heart. Like I cannot, someone who like spent the, all of their hard earned money to open up a small yogurt shop and then it just goes down and hell. It's like, I don't know how many, like, I could cry, you know what I mean? So um, I guess it comes from like, I don't know, my, I, whatever, I'll hold the, hold the story of family history later, okay? <laughs> but okay, let me go show you guys my outfit. And I went to the Gucci outlet on the way back from Palm Springs this weekend. Um, and I bought, these are men's pants and the shoes are also men's. The shoes are too big on me, but I don't give a fuck. I feel like they look like honest fuck. I'll show them to you here. I don't care what you think. I don't give a shit. If you have bowling shoes or whatever, you don't get the vibe. Just shut up, you don't get the vibe. If I show you these shoes, you don't understand 1970s tennis, 1970s like Malibu. I don't even know what it is. Like some cool like French Riviera, like with like short ass, like little like shorts or like sweatpants. And you just don't get the vibe. I don't want to hear it. Like you don't get it. If you don't get it, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. So these are the shoes I got. Um, I fucking love them. They are like the original Gucci's from the seventies. And the sole is neon um, green and the back has this Gucci gold and they also go down here so you can wear them as slip-ons which is like so fucking extra um and they're like this gorgeous like it almost looks um it's like so Tennessee you know what I mean it just looks so Tennessee to me and it's like this really cool looking blue I love it it's such a mismatch of shit that I love they were only like $350 I was I was like, I'm done. They're way too big. They're a men's size. I don't give a shit. They're like a men's size 100. I'm not kidding. They're so fucking big on me, but they don't look big. They're so comfortable. 
men's size eight and a half they're huge okay i think i work in men i would probably work a men's size seven i'm not sure i'm like a 10 in women's okay um and i'm wearing them with these socks that a friend of mine in london gave me when i went there it says fuck off of course perfect for me i'm wearing my gucci um pants that you guys saw me yesterday I'm wearing this adidas like pullover which i love i got this from a store um i thought i'd say it was like on sale as fuck like like uh three months ago or something two months ago my chest really does hurt like i'm i'm like i'm fine i think anyone who's young like gets through it right i mean hopefully um okay so now i'm gonna take a photo with you guys i'm gonna take a photo over here i'm gonna set you guys up so we can take a photo okay um and i look like a fucking beast in the rear view oh shit okay i have like indigestion i'm a fucking mess okay here we go i'm gonna move these shoes because it's gonna ruin my photo all right hold on i'm gonna show you guys my Vibe. Okay, so here's the vibe, and um, so you can't really tell. You'll be able to tell. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I think it's like cute as fuck. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this like. Oh, Mini sweater is like ruining my life right now. Right. Everything on my like, reflects. I have all this like reflecty stuff in my house. Okay, let me see. So, don't laugh at me, but like I want to do this like vibe like this. Yeah, it's like so cute. So you can like see, because I have the, it says Gucci right here. Don't worry, there's like planes flying above my fucking house. Um, so wait, I want the fuck you to show. Can you guys see me? Show me any closer. I want you to like see the vibe. Yeah, better. Okay. Okay, you're gonna be in my photo though. Should I put the shoes on on? I think I should put the shoes on on. By the way, this is another thing too. The wearing the shoes in the house is absolutely fucking disgusting. I know, but I wanted to do it just for this photo. I'm gonna like Lysol everything right now. I don't typically wear shoes in the house. And I hate, I like, if anyone, well, no one ever comes in here, but like if there's one person in my house and they walk on my rug, I legitimately yell. Like I will yell at you. Fuck! Walk on my rug with shoes. Fuck out of here. Fucking pig. This is why I don't have guests because I would just be cringing the whole time. Okay. Let me show you guys the vibe. Oh my god, I feel like I'm so fat right now. I can't move. Okay, hold on. How do we do this? What should the caption be? It's like not cute at all. Oh my god, it's so ugly. Isn't this legitimately so ugly? Why? No, it's like so cute. Yesterday I was like doing this yesterday and I was like, it's actually so cute. Oh my god, this is not the vibe. Because, oh my god, don't worry, someone's like construction next door. Okay, let me show you. Yeah, see how cute I was yesterday when I did it? Why am I so ugly today? Is it the top knot? The top knot is like so cute. Okay, I gotta copy this photo of myself. I look like a fucking wildebeest. How do I do this? How do I do this? Today? It's like so on. I don't look on. I don't look on. Oh my god, I don't look on. What the fuck did he do his hand? Oh my god, my back's like showing over there. It's not bad. It's kind of cute. Actually, it's kind of cute as fuck. Come on. By the way, like I'm kind of done with people being like quarantine photo. Like it's kind of stupid. Okay, 
Friday, I got one. Can we see it? Oh, look at my shoes. It's so cute, right? Isn't that the cutest vibe? I'm fucking dead over this vibe. So cute. Everyone's like, I'm so fucking ugly. Just watch. Everyone's like, just like, don't get the vibe. It's like so annoying. It's really fucking so annoying. All right. Okay, guys. Let's see that the photo. Yeah, oh my God, it's so cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm posting that photo. Okay. Bye, you guys. Don't hate me. Um, don't hate me. And um, I would really also say, I would really also say to like, I would really also say don't freak out because to be honest, no one knows what's going on anyway. I would just like take like as many precautions as you can with, and like, don't, and like, oh, whatever. You know what I mean? Just like, it's fine. Like, I swear to God, it's fine. There's like no way. I would read the statistics. That's what I would read. I would like go and read like the, like the numbers of like deaths actually, uh, actual deaths. And then like in comparison to other deaths every year, like go read how many people die from a steering wheel. Go read how many people like die from like, I don't even know, from like drugs, like whatever the, um, things that are like other things, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I hope, I don't know. I just don't want to be like such, I feel like there's so many alarmists right now. The news is like so scary. Um, I really think we're going to be okay. I really, really do. Honestly, I think we're just too smart of like, um, of a world, you know what I mean? For it to get that bad. So yeah, all right, you guys, I love you. I'll see you on the other side. Tomorrow, maybe, I don't even know. <laughs> Who knows, depends. I might just do another video tomorrow. I don't know, okay, bye.